I want to make a quick video today for you. I'm doing it in this vertical format because so many people watch it on their, on their phones. You're better than you think you are. You are in more control and you have more power than you think you do in your life. And I want to tell you guys all this. This is very important for me to say. A lot of you folks right now, you feel panicked, freaked out, anxiety, stress, fear. I feel it too a lot of the time. It's tough. You're feeling that way because you're focusing on the wrong things. And I want to tell you this. You have the, a tremendous amount of capacity for goodness in you. You also have a tremendous amount of capacity of badness in you. And I've, I've exercised the badness in my life before. It's consequences that led up to me being where I am as a pariah on YouTube. And I accept those consequences. And I'm trying to right the ship by inviting everybody to this big YouTube meetup. But we'll talk about that in another video. But I'm trying to exercise the good. So how can you exercise the good? Well, first of all, you need to change your focus of what you're focusing on. You need to know that you're loved. I, my God, God loves you. God loves me. God loves everybody. I'm not going to get overly religious in this video, but just know that you are loved by your creator. Okay, that's the first thing. Feel good in that. Feel liberation in that. Feel happiness in that. The second thing is you have the ability to change your life right now. Right now, in this exact moment. But it's hard for you to change your life because... You're being barraged all the time by a massive amount of intrusions around you that are trying to pull you away from what you should be focused on, which is bettering your life. So you open up the news and you see that, you know, interest rates rose up again. And then today the GDP numbers are out and we're down 0.9%. And oh my God, OMG, it's a recession. And I understand it's a recession, but the question still remains, what are you doing to push back against the recession? Are you worried about the recession and what it's going to mean for you this Christmas time when you were supposed to have that trip planned? So you're worried about the price, price of plane tickets. So then you go online and you look at the price of plane tickets and now you're launched into this whole thing down here where now that's your main focus for the day. Meanwhile, you're at your desk and you have tasks that need to be done. So if you don't do the tasks that need to be due, maybe maybe you're like me and you're just a 1099. I sell advertising sales and so none of my sales will get done and I won't have the money even if those things do or don't change. Or maybe you have a task and you're a salaried employee or you're an hourly employee. And if you don't do those tasks, you could be demoted or lose your job. Live in the moment. That's how you can take control of what's going on for your life right now. Live in the moment for what you have in front of you. Okay? Because you are not, you know, they say, be the change you want to see in the world. And that's really good. But you're not going to change things sitting at your desk right now in the moment when you have tasks at hand that can better your life. So do the tasks that can better your life and chunk them down into 15-minute chunks. Uh, Gary Keller <coughs> had a book called The One Thing. It's a great book. Everybody should read it. But he talks about how we don't multitask, and but we also have to know what one thing we can do right now to get us to our overall bigger task. A case in point, if you were trying to build the Allegiant Stadium over where the Raiders play 10 years ago, you wanted a new stadium. But you didn't say, um, how much are we going to charge for Super Bowl tickets when we host the game in our new stadium? Because you weren't even there. You said, number one, where are we going to move the team? Then you do that task at Hand. Number two, where we're going to build a stadium, let's find some land. That's a task you complete. Number three, how do we get the financing? You get the financing. That's a task. You chunk it down. So chunk your day down into little tasks and just know that the disempowerment empowerment syndrome is real. You are very disempowered when the news gets to you. And when the news gets to you and they take away your ability to be happy and hopeful and good in life, you are very disempowered. So give yourself a massive dose of empowerment and control the things that you control right now in your life because you have the ability to control things. Unless you're in a prison cell watching this, in which case, good work on smuggling in a cell phone that can get internet connection. Wow, I'm impressed. But, you know, you have the ability to feel empowered and do the things that will get you to the next step and the next journey in your life. I have to remember that myself, so I thought you guys might know that as well. The last thing is be grateful and write down lists of things that you're grateful for. I say a prayer in the morning for everything I'm grateful for, but that might not be for you. But I think if you write down the list of things you're grateful for and you say, I don't have anything, I said bollocks. That's not true. You have lots of things. Are you watching this on a cell phone? Do you have a connection? You can pay the cell phone bill. Do you have food to eat in the fridge tonight? Do you have one person that you can at least call today to discuss things? Do you have a bike if you don't have a car? Can you get around? Do you have two feet that work? Do you have a body that's functional? Do you have all that? You know, then you have a gratitude list. And by putting out those positive thoughts and taking control of what you can control, you're doing what is in the Bible is known as taking stewardship for what God has given us. And that's a biblical thing. But take stewardship over your own life. Even if you don't believe in God, I understand that. You're not, it's not right for everybody at, a, at every point in their life. But that's what we have. We had stewardship over everything that's in front of us. So take control of your life. Don't be afraid. 
do what you have to do in little chunks of time in your life and don't let the news control you. Be grateful for what you have and be hopeful for what you don't have. Be happy for what you have, but never fully satisfied so you can always move on to something bigger in life. And don't let the buzzing and the vultures of the news and the people arguing get to you because they want to pull you into their negative energy, but I believe you're better than that. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys want to, you know, drop us some support. Check in the bottom below. There's a link for my GoFundMe. Um, if you guys want to reach out, there's a link for email down there. If you guys want to go ahead and join us on Facebook, there's a Facebook group down there. We're trying to accomplish a lot of things in the time that God gave us on earth. Thank you today. It's very hot. I recorded this three, four times to get the message right. So I got some sweatiness happening, but I love you all. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you on a live stream tomorrow and also on Saturday. Um, if you're watching this in the today, that means Friday and Saturday nights. Okay. I love you guys. Love you, Caroline. Talk to you later.